Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over what I think are the four best social media plugins for WordPress. So before we dive into my list here, I just wanted to say that there could easily be different plugins on this list or additional plugins. There could be ones that aren't even created yet if you're watching this in the future. So just be aware of that. But I really could have added probably at least 10 different plugins, but so many of them have very similar functionality when it comes to what they actually can do. So I just kept this to a brief list of four plugins that I really like and that I've used before on websites that I've created for myself and for others. So I'll have links below in the description for each of these if you want to check them out yourself. And with that out of the way, let's dive in. So this first one here is called Grow by Mediavine, and I've actually got a tutorial on this one that I'll have come up in the pop-up card in the upper right corner. But I actually used this when it was called a different name. It was called Social Pug. You can see it says Social Pug in the URL still right here. So just be aware of that. When you look at that tutorial, it might say Social Pug in it. But I made it, and they literally got bought out, I guess, by Mediavine here about a week after I made the tutorial. So they have a free and a paid version of the plugin and basically it will go in the sidebar or you can have it above or below your content within the blog itself. So you can see right here it says before or after content and you can have the floating sidebar. It's very easy to use, very easy to set up. To me, it's one of the more reliable ones and just straightforward, easy to use. There are many other plugins similar to this one that I could have put on the list, but I've used this one many times before. It's free and it works well. So number two on this list, I've actually also done a tutorial on. I'll have that pop up in the card. I actually just released it recently, and that is the Monarch plugin by Elegant Themes. Now, you will need an Elegant Themes membership for this. I have a discount if you want to go through my link. It's wpwithtom.com slash divi. And this one is my favorite one out of the four on my list here because it's just so easy to use. They've made it so straightforward, but it's very, very flexible with what you can do. You can see that if you go through the tutorial I have in the pop-up and just see what it has involved in it before you actually purchase Divi or anything, you can see what this would include. Now, this is just an add-on or a plugin that they have within Elegant Themes membership. There's a lot more to it, but it is a great one. And if we just scroll down, you can see a little bit of what they can do. You can have it in the sidebar. You can have it above and below. You can have it actually pop up at different times when you're going through the page. You can have different sidebar options right here. You can see there's a lot of different things. You can actually have it pop up with a pop-up on the page. And that's not one that most plugins actually have. They have fly-ins like this to share this. So there's a lot that you can do. You can also have a upon scroll percentage. So when they scroll down a certain way, then it pops in. There's a whole lot you can do with it and a lot of flexibility. And it's really easy to use and to design it to make it look how you want. So to me, this is actually my favorite one on the list. And it comes with the Elegant Themes membership. So if we go over here to the next one, it's Super Socializer. And this is a very popular one. In fact, when I look up social or social media in the repository within WordPress, it comes up as the second most popular one when I search for that. And the big reason why I put this on my list here is because it allows you to have your user sign in with their existing social media profile. So they don't actually have to use a login and remember that login each time. You can see right here it says social login enables users to log into their website through their existing IDs on popular social networks. So basically they can just go and sign in through Facebook or sign in through Twitter or something like that. And it's a great option to have that most plugins don't come with in terms of social media related plugins for WordPress. So the fourth one here I wanted to cover is also a very popular one. And this one is Social Icons Widget and Block by WP Zoom. So I actually used this one on a few websites that I made for clients. And I was using the Fudica theme, which is a WP Zoom theme that they have. And it looked very, very clean with it. I just really like the overall clean look that they had. It really doesn't give you a whole lot of options besides some of the other ones like Grow has but it just looks very clean and I love the look of it. So you can use it right here. It says Fudica theme if you want to view a demo and example. So let's just click on that and maybe you can see what I mean when I say it looks clean. So if we were to go and scroll down, you can see right here, it comes in the right side. 
There's different options. I actually think you can make it look a lot better than this, but this gives you an example and you can customize each color for each icon as well. That's a nice feature, or you can just have this sleek black and white right here to go with the site. So I made it on a site using this theme for a client before, and I thought it turned out really well and it was just nice and clean. So that about wraps up this short list on the best social media plugins in my opinion. I hope that you were able to learn about at least one social media WordPress plugin that you might not have been aware of before this. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.